Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode three of our new segment, uh, First Impressions. And this time we're going to be looking at the 72 count of the Castle Arts Premium Quality Wet and Dry Watercolour Pencils. So first of all, you can get them in a tin or you can get them in a canvas pencil case. So I got them in the pencil case because I thought, why get them uh, in a tin and buy a pencil case when I can get a pencil case? So that's what they look like, so that's the front. Um, and on the back there's a uh, colour swatch shot, but we will swatch them out and we'll have a look. So this will take a little while and uh, I'll need to find a pen. I just what to do. This will be interesting because this is a cartridge pen. So it just unzips like any pencil case and here are the colours. So get some information on the Castle Art uh, Supplies, the colour system as they call it. The watercolour pencil tutorial if you're drawing on how to do the horse. And here are all the pencils. Looking very nice and they smell delicious. I love the smell. <sighs> anyway, so I haven't got a sharpener. I have got a sharpener here and I have got some to put sharpeners in but we'll just use them as they are. So I've got uh, a swatch book here, not the one I normally use but it's a bigger one, colour charts by um, Yasmin Eldahan. Um, this is one of the big ones so we're just going to swatch a few and what we will do is we will colour with them at, uh, in this video. So this will probably be a longer first impression so I have got a, a, a water brush and like I said this is a fountain pen so I'm going to have to turn it this way to write with it. So the first one is 001 and they are in that sort of order. So 001, lemon, yellow, light. And what I'll do is I'll fill this in later. I won't write it in now because you it, it'll be boring. So what I'll do is I'll fill it in later. I'm just going to fold that bit under there for now. And we will start the first one. As they're in that sort of order, I can do it like that. So. We've got a hexagonal barrel, it's very nice. It's got the colour on the, the tip, on the end here. Castle Arts watercolour, so it says the brand and that they are watercolour pencils, you can use them wet or dry. And then we've got 001 here and the colour here. Uh, lemon yellow light. So let's have a look, uh, we'll just wait for that to focus and we'll see what this looks like. We're not gonna, oh, very smooth very soft feeling. Obviously I'm doing this quite quickly because like I said they're big squares these ones. Now as I'll be using these as watercolours, I'm not too worried about filling on all the white because obviously when we activate it, it should It's a lovely light lemon and you can see that depending on how much pressure you put on will it will depend on how much uh, you get. So that's the first one so obviously being left-handed is going to be a bit of a problem on these. So number two is Primrose Yellow and like I said I will put the colours in later but let's just have a colour with this one and see what this one looks like. So as you can see there's, there's gaps where I haven't pushed as hard and so we'll push this one a bit harder and try and fill it in. I think the problem with if I swatch them all, it's going to be a very long video. But we do like a bit of a swatching, don't we, to have a look at the colours. So I'm going back this way. So I like using watercolours on certain books. And um, they... It, you know, obviously in some books it, it doesn't go well because it um, can buckle the paper and of course this is that sort of paper that will buckle. Um, I've not used it on this kind of paper before so it'll be interesting to see how bad it ends up. But they're nice, nice colours, nice and light. I like my watercolours to look light. So that one was uh, Primrose. Like I said, I, I'll put them all on later. Now the next one is just is number five and it's lemon yellow. Now I know they have um, 
there's 120 in the full castle art set which I'm hoping to get later. I do like the feel of the way that the wax goes down or the pencil goes down. This is a lovely yellow. I can see why you could use them as normal pencils or as watercolours. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That is a lovely yellow. So far, quite impressed. So, um, It'd be interesting when I get onto the lighter flesh, fleshy colours. And there's not many what I would call flesh tones in here. Um, there is a pink and a sort of a, a one they call do call flesh and flesh deep and flesh light. So it'd be interesting to see what they're like when we activate the colour. So this is an orange. It's just called oh actually it's called brilliant yellow, but to me it's more orange. I suppose it's an orange yellow. It's a nice colour. Yeah, that's very nice. Do you see what it goes like? Wow, that is a very nice colour. That is lovely. So this is obviously Amazon paper. So I've never used um, other than when I've been doing swatches and watercolours on this sort of paper. So it'd be interesting to see how it, it does. It's just a little buckling a bit, but it's not too bad. So this one is yellow ochre light. Being left-handed, of course it's the wrong way around for me, but it's fine, I don't mind that. Okay. And of course you can make it as dark as light and put as much pigment down as you want or as little as you want, depending on the look you're going for. That's quite nice. Just gonna have a drink. Got, I'll do excuse me while I have a sip of my drink, so. <sighs> Lovely. Yep, these are very nice colors. They feel nice. Obviously you can't get these open stock, so if you use a lot of one colour and you run out, the only way to replace them is to buy a whole new set. But that's the thing with the cheaper brands, that's just the way it is. But um, if you like them that much, like me with the Black Widows, although you can get Black Widows open stock, if I like a set of pencils that much, it doesn't bother me having to buy a complete new set just to replace the ones I'm using, because eventually I will use them all. And the more I experiment with colour, whether it's skin tones and such like, the more I will use up colours that I wouldn't necessarily normally use. Now that one is called Cinnamon. That's a nice colour. I'm not worrying too much about getting it in the boxes. It is. This is just so I can see what the colours look like. I'm just going to get some water in a pot. Give me a sec. It's just so I can make sure the brush is clean before the next colour. That's it. Which is terracotta. You have to excuse my arms. I know that they're. 
Let's pull these up closer to me, the pencils. You don't need to see the pencil case, do you? Duh. So this one is nice looking. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nice colour, I can tell already. Yep. Is my phone going? It's on silent, though. I always have it on silent, otherwise the amount of notifications I get for it would be pinging every five minutes. And it's a shame really, because I do like to hear the old ka-ching. Um, on uh, eBay. When that comes through, it is a nice thing to hear. Terracotta. Oh, on again. What's going on? I've gotten very busy on here. Oh, it's just a couple of Facebook notifications. There's nothing exciting. Next one is Orange Lake. So let's just pull this up here. What I like about this is, although there's not as many on a page, they are nice. Oh, there it goes again. See what I mean? Nice. Big squares. I've only put one set of pencils in this book. I've had it ages. It was to do a bigger set so I could see what the colours really look like. And I just never got around to it. And I think the only thing I put in was the... Actually, I'm not sure. Either the Marco Rafines or the Faber Castell Classics. There we go. This one was Orange Lake. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous colour, isn't it? It's a nice colour just as a pencil, but when you activate it with the water brush, oh, God, that's beautiful. So, this could be quite a long video, so... Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually drinking cider. It's strong bow dark fruit. So. so this is cadmium orange. So what I wanted is I wanted um, some further colours to complement and go with my um, 36, I want to say, set of watercolours from the Brit Smiths. Yeah, I think it's 36, which I really like. I do like using them, that's a nice pale colour. Of course, we could make it darker by putting more orange down. We're now onto the flesh. Oh, there's a lovely scarlet red coming up. So this is flesh deep. So let's see what this looks like. So of course, the WH Smith ones don't have. names or numbers. I numbered them myself along with the 48 pack. I don't know if I'd use this as flesh. It's too pinky red. Maybe if it blended with another one it could. I don't know. Not actually that bad now I look at it on there, but uh, too bad actually. And then this is the what they call flesh. Looking at the pencil, it does look a bit orange, but we'll find out in a second. 
don't know, hang on, that's a nice colour. This isn't going down as nicely as the first ones, but um, it's still not bad. Yeah, that's a nice flesh. And I could see that mixing it for some shading with this one would work as well. Yeah. And then you've got the, what they call the light flesh. So we'll get that one out and have a quick look at that. So like I said, this is going to be a fairly long video because we've mix, we're mixing swatching with first impressions. This is quite a pink, very pinky flesh. But I could see mixing the three together would call, would um, give a nice white pale pale skin tone. Yeah, I can see using those as together being quite nice. Yeah, I was a bit worried that the flesh would be a bit orange, but it's actually not. It's actually a really nice colour. On to Scarlet Red. Now, i got to admit, excuse me, reds are my favourite colours. I've always loved red. It's always been my favourite colour. I don't know why now there's a bit broken that there, that, but I'm not too worried about that because it's just the tip and it is just for swatching purposes. So it'll be any pe pe pencils I use when we start colouring a picture in. Although we won't colour the whole thing. It'll just be a little bit, you know, like I did before to show you and then I can always continue it as a colouring chart. So as you can see I've pushed quite hard on that bit so we've got a very 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 dark bit there and a lighter bit there. So I'm actually going to leave it like that so you can see how different the colour is depending on how you've pressed down. So obviously I expect this bit to stay quite dark. Yeah, but there you get the different shades of dark, the scarlet red. It's a lovely colour. I like that colour very, very much. So just clean the brush off a bit. So we are getting through them. The next one is a Vermilion. I do love red. Like so. I need to put these in my other swatch book which is basically a book I leave downstairs but then chances of me using the watercolours downstairs with Jennifer around are pretty slim yeah I really like the selection of reds sometimes I find some pencils they don't have enough reds for my liking Again, Black Widows is one of those. There are quite a lot of nice reds in the Black Widows, but I want more. I love red. There's nothing wrong with the ones in there. They are good, good colours. So, clean my brush off a bit. That's it. Next one is Cadmium Red. These are very nice. Nice. I think Scarlet's my favourite at the moment. Yeah, these are good, decent, decent watercolour pencils. I mean, I'm not an artist, so I'm never going to... I 
So I said I don't, as much as I love my polychromas, I don't really want to fork out for the Albrecht door. I just think it's just for what I do with them, it's not. I'd rather have that money on, on, on something else. You know, I don't know. It's just me. It's a lot of money, especially when you've got a young child to do. You know, when I bought my Prismas and Polychromas, I didn't have Jennifer, so. There we go, that is a very nice one as well. Colours are absolutely stunning in this, i got to admit. Very happy with these, so I think I will probably, at some point this month, maybe about towards mid-month, order the full 120 set of the pencils, which obviously are in a tin. And I'll have to stay in a tin because I'm not buying a pencil case for them at the moment. I will get one eventually. Took me ages to get one from the po for the pollies. But I, I will get them. Because I've heard they're good. I also want the Arteezes. But, uh, oops. It's Indian Red. But at the moment, I'll, I think I'll get these Castle Art ones. These seem to be quite nice. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I've got some lovely colours. I'll admit these colours are lovely and they will complement nicely my... What was the one I just did? Indian red, wasn't it? It's a Chinese orange now back to the top of the page. What we'll do as well, I'm waiting for this page to dry, is I'll switch the camera off and I'll go and find um, the Sarah K colour in Heaven book because that's the one I've been um, using my watercolours in. So we'll use it in there and see how we get on. Very nice. Put it there for a minute. looking very very nice and we still got lots to do the next one is purple look there's a moth <laughs> flapping around my own face and that was a nice colour I do like purples as well, I'll admit that. I do like a good purple. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a lovely colour. It's a lovely purple that is. Jalper Pink is next. There are more purplies later. For some reason that one's there. This one looks like a nice pinky colour, ready pink. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like the colours. The colours are absolutely stunning. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a nice colour. Next is cherry pink. And get it out. My God, there's still loads of colours to go through. I do like these colours. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. I think these are lovely colours. These are going to, I'm going to like using these ones, I think. Um, and if I like using these ones, the chances are I'm going to like the normal a soft uh, called Castle Arts one. So this one is just, um, this is Grenadine Light. Oh yeah, look at how dark it can go, but I'm probably darker than that, but also very light as well. That's a nice one. Next one is called Lavender, so we're back into the purples now. It's probably just the way the order they created the colours in when they originally started making them. nice this is quite a, gonna be a long video you don't have to watch it all in one go you can always stop it and come back later if you feel like it I tend to just do that myself sometimes if I'm watching a very long video and I think oh, I need a break and I'll come back and watch it the next day but I always try and make sure I watch um, videos all the way through in the first instance but sometimes you just can't um so i don't expect you to sit here through what is likely to be a good hour because we're in 30 minutes as it is this one is uh heather purple i like that color yeah, I do like that colour. Mm. And the last one in here is Purple Lake Deep. And that is actually the last one. This is going to take us, I think, three pages to do this whole lot. If we're any luck, we'll finish this one before the camera goes off. Okay. It's a nice colour as well. As you can see, I'm not worrying about making it nice and even like I would if I was colouring properly. There we go now. We're at 30 minutes, so the camera's going to go off. So I'm going to go let this dry and go get the Sarah K book out. Okay, let's crack on with the next um, set or line. We're still with purple here. We've got mulberry. Nice and dry. Now I've got the book out ready. 
when I dry this, wait for this page to dry, I'll choose what picture I'm going to colour using these. I'm also trying to catch up on my um, videos watching my completed uh, all the completed pages so I haven't watched them all yet I watch so many different YouTube channels with so many different um, subjects it's unreal blues now they look lovely I must admit the colours on the ends are very nice next was Delft blue let's see yeah, it's a nice colour. So yeah, I mean my first impressions of these is that they are very nice, the colours are very very vibrant, they lay down lovely. They are a good selection of colours. So yes, I am enjoying them so far, which is great. Ultramarine next. Now Ultramarine is a colour I use quite a lot normally, so it would be nice to see what this one's like. Oh yeah, that is nice. Yep. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, they're nice. The blues so far. Oh, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like that colour. Not gonna lie. Next is Ultramarine Light. That's a nice colour too. Good selection of blues so far, and there's still loads more to go. Like I said, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible just so you can see the colour because I don't want to spend so long on this and then not get to show you um, colouring in the book. Like I said, we've still got another page full of this to do yet. Go. That is a nice colour blue. Indigo light is next. Looks like there's a quite good selection of greens as well, which is good because. Ooh, look at this. So, so far I'm, I'm liking them very much. They handle, they're nice and easy to hold. Obviously if I was carrying a book I'd be working from right to left because I'm left handed. Next one is called Sky Blue. Now, to me, it looks a bit dark for sky. But you never know. Let's have a look. I would put a sharper point on them when I'm colouring with them properly. Well, it is quite a nice colour for sky, actually. And I think um, we might well be trying that out. Okay. 
yeah that's a nice that is a very nice color for the sky actually yeah next one is cerulean cerulean blue light a nice blue. So what I'm going to say is when I get the 120 set And I might do it with this, I might do it in two parts. I'm going to do part one, which is showing you the thing, I think, and then doing the swatches. And then I'll do part two when we actually colour in the, the book. So I think the, these pencil ones and watercolour ones, things like this, I'll be two parts. It's easy with something like gel pens just to, to do it very, very quickly. But I think with this I want to show how they work colouring as well as just swatching. So this is going to be part one because this is going to be long enough just swatching the colours. And it also means I don't have to film it all in one day and I can go in and put the colours in and crack on, you know. I will still pick the picture today that I'm going to do and I'll show you it at the end. Next one is teal green light. Again, it's a very blue colour. Yeah, that's a nice colour. See, I would use that more for a sky than the other, the blues. Although the, the sky blue is quite nice. I think it's just a little bit dark. See what it looks like when it's got water on it though because that might change how I feel. See now I still think that looks more like a nice sky blue but that's my thoughts. You might disagree. Into the greens properly now and we've got hooker's green. There's a good selection of greens as well. There's quite a few greens. I don't want to make a two hour video for you guys it would be too much so what I'll do is I'll do all the swatching in this video and then I'll show you what picture we're going to colour in the, the Colour in Heaven Sarah K book and the only reason I like to use the Colour in Heaven books is it's when I'm demonstrating pencils it's a consistent paper quality it's not like using the paper in say Johanna Basford and then the paper in a Jade Summer which is all different types. Karen Heaven I've got so many books I've, and I've got so many books of theirs now I've getting quite a good collection that if I use them all to demonstrate how different pencils look it's going to be a more consistent approach because the paper quality is the same across the thing. I, I mean, it would be the same as using Jade Summer, all Jade Summer or all but Johanna Bassford. That's the only reason I do it. So you can see then how each pencil compares properly. Prussian Green is next. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, I like that green. Mm, I like this one. That is a very nice colour. Hooker's green still got a tint of blue in it. But that, to me, that is a gorgeous green. Look at that. I can see me using that one a bit. 
and that one was Prussian green. Next one is Juniper green. I am liking the green so far, which is good. Again, Juniper green, this is a nice green. One of the things I wanted to ask is, what is the sound quality like? Is it any good? Do you think I need to put an external mic on or is it good enough for you guys? Let me know. Go. Next green is Castle Green Deep. Ooh, that's nice. And they look pretty true to what I can see on the screen while filming. Just so you know, I do use a daylight bulb. I have a day bulb, daylight um, strength bulb. They call daylight bulbs in in my main lamp. It makes the room nice and bright for filming, and for when I'm photographing my eBay stock as well. So this is quite good. Obviously, your screen may see it differently, but they are lovely colours. These are, are absolutely gorgeous pencils. I'm going to say, I am very impressed. They were thirty four ninety nine, and. Um, I'm very impressed with the, the coverage. I'm not pressing very hard. It's, it's a sort of medium pressure just to get enough colour on to see what it looks like. But it's not a hard, not hard pressure. Colours are very vibrant. Um, they activate beautifully, very even activation, I think, considering I'm not very even with my uh, colouring at this point because this is just for this section for swatching um yeah this next one is castle green light oh that's a nice color as well <gasps> yeah I'm very impressed with the colours in this set and if the non-watercolour pencils, I know you can use these dry um, if you wanted to but these for me are to be used wet, if the, the dry pencils, the, the normal colouring pencils are anything like these I'm going to be very impressed with them. Nothing's going to replace my beloved Black Widows as my favourite budget pencil but these again are going to be in the long run cheaper than buying all the Black Widows I mean obviously these are watercolours but a Castle Arts in general would be cheaper than buying all of the um, Black Widows once the new set comes out well actually they are already because you're looking at to get the whole set of what are we on at the moment hundred and something hundred and twenty four I think I'm not actually sure it was seven no it's not seventy two plus twenty four ninety six ninety six will cost you around fifty five to sixty pounds so one hundred and twenty castle arts I think they're forty four ninety nine which isn't too bad now I've forgotten what colour I've just done. Castle green light on it, I think. Yeah. Or was it that one? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there we are. I've done that was leaf green light, the last one. This one is cool grey. That's me talking too much and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So this is a nice, nice grey. I'm not big on greys. I do use them obviously when I need to. Mm. 
I can't get excited about a grey the way I can a red or a green <laughs> or a blue. But that's actually quite a nice grey actually. I won't put it back in until I get I'm ready to get the next one out. Actually that activates lovely. It's actually a very nice almost stone colour I'd say. Very nice. Next is another grey, which is fine. There is a white in here. I'm not sure that that's actually going to show up on when I do this. This one is Davy's grey, whoever Davy is. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Yeah, this video is going to be nearly an hour just on the swatching, so. So I will do part two and I'll colour in the Sarah K book for you. Oh yeah. That's nice. That is nice. <laughs> Next colour is Burnt Umber. I'm sipping my drink. Nice. Yeah, like that. These are very nice colours. There's not a lot more I can say about them really. I'm just chatting so that you're not looking at me just colouring in silence. So next one is a Van Dyke Brown. Still going on very nicely. So part two will be um, still under the first impressions, but it'll also be sort of like a budget pencil review on how. I mean, I I, I won't be able to show you anything I've done with it because it would be my first one, so it's really a first impressions. Yeah. Nice. These are very, very. I've done it again. I've put it back without. It was Van Dyke, wasn't it? CPR. I should only be four holes left. Yeah, that's right. CPR! That's nice. That's a nice CPR, actually. As somebody who does and likes old photographs, and I do a lot of photography, I'm mean, I, I, I very, very idea on what sepia should be and it should be a reddish brown which this is a bit dark but then that's to do with how much pressure I've put on it's a nice colour though a nice earthy colour yeah that's nice I've got to be honest I'm really enjoying doing this like I said we're coming up to some colours now is white but we're also coming up with some colours that are very similar to like there's some more reds and some more purples and blues. Oh, I say, is there, there is no black. There's another grey, there's more brown but there is no black. <laughs> Nearest one is the grey. It's interesting. But a, oh crap, got white but no black. This one is Oh, this is black, sorry. Ivory black. I think the name Ivory black confused me there. TV's just gone to power save because, of course, I was watching a, um, a video while I'm waiting for the pages to dry. It's an alright black, actually. Let's see. Oh, actually, it's quite nice. 
Yes, that is quite nice. Well, bit of a sniffly nose. Blow my nose in a minute. Yep, I need to really wash that brush now because it's got black on it. <laughs> Next one is white, so I'm assuming this is not going to show up, but uh, as you can see, it's white. Of course, I can see where I have put it, but I'm not going to worry about getting it because it's just not going to show up. But yeah, it does work. That's the main thing is it works. And the last one in this section for this page is another orange colour and it's Cadmium Orange Light. So just goes to show we're going back now on colours we've already done version, you know, swatches of, but they're different shades. So these must have been added, I would assume, afterwards because they're not in the order. And I, I, it doesn't bother me that. I know some people like to have all the oranges and all the reds and all the others together. I like to keep them in number order. Same as my Black Widows and my Prismas. They're in exactly the same order that they came in the box. Even though I know that if I buy another box, they might be in a different, slightly different order. I know the Black Widows are. Those are sort of just kept in their sets. And mainly because I know they're putting out more. Right, okay, gonna wait for this page dry. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back now to do the last section. And the first colour is uh, Cadmium Yellow Deep. I'm going to like this colour. Yeah. I've chosen the page, by the way, guys. I'm very excited. I can't wait to start it. Look at that gorgeous yellow. Oh my God, it's like a sunflower, isn't it? Or a sun color. Very, very nice. Uh, yellow ochre is next. Enjoying this so far. I am enjoying these pencils. Colours are amazing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie on that. I'm loving the colours. Next colour is called Marigold. So it's very like yellowy orange. Oh, that is. Oh. These colours just get better and better. So yeah, I'm very impressed with the colours. So so far, I'm impressed with these pencils. It's not even buckling this very cheap you know, Amazon paper, particularly badly. I might might actually think about doing one of my uh, pictures with them, watercolours in one of these thinner paper books. Cadmium Orange Deep. Very burnt orange colour. Nice, I like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is nice. I am very, very impressed. Very impressed with the colours so far in this. Next one's a very, very hot pink one, which they've called Grenadine. But to me it looks very, very bright pink, so let's have a look. Oh yes. Oh, 
That's a nice one. One thing about doing the picture separately is I don't have to film it all in one go. Which I don't have to anyway, I just like to. All that means is I'll probably film this one tonight and get it ready to go up in a day or so. It won't be up the day I, I filmed it. And then I'll probably film the second one tomorrow. But I, I really like these colours. Next colour is called Opera Rose. It's a nice, nice name, isn't it? I've got a bit of water on here, so it's going to actually activate it before I... Not really, no. I'm very impressed with the colours. This one's a bit scratchy, but that might be me. Because I'm trying to get them down quite quickly. When we colour the, the picture in, we'll obviously take a little bit longer. So you see where I dropped that? <laughs> you can see that drop of water. That's okay though, it doesn't matter. Next colour is a blue and it is primary blue. Well that's an interesting but boring name. Just get that up here. Primary blue. Oh it's a gorgeous shade of blue. Look at that. I've got plenty of blues to choose from for my picture, which I actually like. It's actually going to be quite difficult to choose what colour I want, but I'll, I'll, I'll manage. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about having a load of blues now. My battery's dying, so I'm just going to go and change the battery and I'll be back. Okay, back. Is it going to focus? For some reason it doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. We were just doing this blue one. Gorgeous blue. Like I said, when we're actually colouring the picture, it'll take a lot more time. It's just because I don't want this to be on for so long that you get bored and don't want to watch it all. It's already going to be an hour long. Now the blue one coming out now. Well, actually it's green. It looks like blue on the barrel. And it's cypress green, so let's see how green it is. Yeah, that looks blue to me, but it's obviously a bluey green. Oh yeah, I can see there is green in it. Let's pull it up a bit so you can see better. Okay. At least we're now on the last page. Can you imagine when I get the 120? How long they're going to take to swatch? Oh my life, they're going to take forever. But fun! We like swatching. There we go. It's better. Right, that's that one. That's a nice blue, actually. Well, I keep calling it blue, but it's cypress green. But to me, that's a blue. Next one is Bengal Rose. So let's put this back down here. Nice colour. So yeah, the pencil ones are going to be in two parts. It's just going to be like gel pen ones. And obviously if I get sets of markers, um, but the gel pen ones will be um, ones. It's just because this is taking a while and I can't, I, you know, I can say, yes, I love the colours. I love the way they lay down. I like the way that the, the ink is activated or the watercolours activated. I can't tell you what how they work in a book because I haven't actually coloured a picture with them, so that's why I want to do that with you. This one is magenta. It's a brownie red. It's a bit too brown for my liking for a magenta. Uh, not too bad. Make a nice hair colour, I think. Maybe it's just me. It looks very red actually on camera. More, it looks redder on camera than it does on the the page. It really looks red on camera. That's that's quite odd actually. It's the only one that's done that. 
Oh, it looks better now it's got, uh, now it's got the colour. It's water, it, wow, look how red that looks. It, it, it's not as bright as it looks. It has a nice colour now. On the, the screen, the screen it is like blood red, really red. But, uh, wow. <laughs> It's still a nice, it's a nice shade of red actually, nice magenta, now, much better. It just goes to show that sometimes you've got to activate them to see what the actual colour is. Next one's another blue one, this is cornflower blue. How to make cornflower blue? Yeah, that's a nice cornflower blue colour, that's a nice blue. Spoilt with the blues and the greens, there's a good few greens coming up. Yeah. But we're near the end now, there's not a huge amount to go. Which is good because it's actually getting very late at night. Oh, that is a nice colour. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at it. I'm, yeah, I am liking that. There we are. I've got my piece of paper to wipe the colours off on. There we are. Uh, next, we're on to the greeny colours now. And this one is called Teal Green. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's the sort of one that I'd use for doing some pictures which um, I wanted a good colour for the sea. Sometimes when you're looking in the water you get the different shades of blue and green and, and that reminds me of it in Tenerife or off the coast of Cornwall on a very sunny day it's like that it does look like that sometimes of course no holidays this year sadly I'm afraid I'm not risking going anywhere next one is jade green We should have been on holiday, but uh, health and getting the country sorted and is better. But anyway, this is about these pencils, and I am loving them. Absolutely love these. Yeah, first impressions swatching them, I'm impressed. Next is leaf green. Oh, it's another good green. It's quite similar to one of the other greens though. But it's nice. You have a spoil for good greens in this. Nice greens and blues. Very pleased with the colours in here. Oh yeah, that's nice. You keep saying, oh yeah, that's nice. You must be bored of hearing me say it. Next colour is again another green. And this one is called Sap Green. Oh, nice. It's a nice green actually. Yep, nice, that's that one. <coughs> right, grey one next. This is called Payne's Grey. Not an overwhelming number of greys in this set, which is good. Don't forget, I'll be, we will be using them with my other watercolour set, which is the W. H. Smith 36. Though not for the Sarah K picture, that will be just using these to see what we think. Now it's the grey. 
right. So I will not be using these now until we start our picture and then we'll you'll see how I I think they go down as I do it so any mistakes I make it will be down to me this is walnut brown light it's a good brown oops something just fell off the here edge I'll admit I'm looking at the pictures and thinking what colours to do things I am I'm not going to lie but that's just how I'm planning it ready for when we film that section yep yeah, that's a nice brown Browns can be hit, as, hit or miss as to whether they're nice or not. This one is cadmium orange middle. So another orange. Oh, that's a nice orange. a very nice orange I don't know if I'll be using it but oh yeah look at that color look how beautiful and vibrant that orange is that's lovely that is love that another red now and this one is sticking all red oh I'm getting a bit uncomfortable here oh it's the way I'm sitting Oh, this is going to be a lovely red when I put the water on it. I just, I can just tell. Oh yeah, this one might get used on something. water brush now because I've moved. Hang on. Uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh yes, now that's a nice red. Signal red. Yeah. Oh look how red that looks. Like I said it's showing up for me on the camera screen really bright red. I don't know how it's going to look actually on your screen because obviously all screens are different. Okay so that was signal red. And the next one is Carmine Rose or Carmine Rose. Another red one. I'm not complaining, like I said. Well, that's a nice red. I am a red girl. I love red. That's a pinky purpley red. But I like it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that colour. That is such a rose colour. No idea of flowers in my dad's garden, that does. If you watch the weekly vlog, <coughs> you will have seen it. At various times. This is a purpley colour, which is Violet Lake Light. There are only four more to go, including this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I like that. That is very nice. I don't see 
A lot of people use watercolour pencils. They use ink tents a lot, but not watercolours that often. John the Bib Folklorist has in the past. But, uh, I guess people do, it's just I don't necessarily see it. Violet Deep, so another purple, which is great because... Well, that's a very dark purple. Purple is one of those colours you don't get a lot of because the pigment to make purple is very expensive. Which is why back in the olden days, like the Romans, the only people who wore purple were royalty. So it's a sign of the royalty. And that's why there's a lot of purple in them. Things like when you see royal crowns and stuff like that. That's a nice one. Okay. Beautiful. That is a gorgeous shade. And there's another blue now. And this is Cobalt Turquoise Light. The last one's a green. Like I said, these were obviously added after the, the sets were originally created to expand on the colours. So. so for instance there's 72. I don't think there's a 120 watercolour set. I can't find one. I might be wrong, but that's a very, very pale blue. That's quite nice for like mirrors and things like that. And the last one that we have is green and it is olive green. Oh yeah, olive green's always a good colour. I always use a lot of olive green, you know, various pictures. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is a very nice olive green. I'm not going to lie. I like that colour. So, that is all of the colours in the 72 set of Castle Art watercolour pencils. We've swatched them all. So what do I think? So far, first impressions literally just on the swatching and the activating them of the waters. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with them. Um, I think the colours are very vibrant. They lay down very nicely. They're not too scratchy. The odd one has a bit of a scratch, but I think once I've sharpened them once, that will disappear. So, first impression on just holding the pencils and how they lay down, I'm very, very impressed and I would recommend them. However, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, or in this case, the proof of the pencils is in the colouring. So in part two of First Impressions Castle Art Watercolours, we will be colouring in Colouring Heaven's uh, Sarah Kay collection. And we're gonna be colouring this picture, uh, which is of, just of her, the girl. She's got a basket, bow, hat, bare feet. So we've got skin, we've got a top and trousers. There's no background, but I just tend to put a, a light watercolour wash of blue and green to simulate grass and sky, which is what we will do on here. So, tune in for part two to see if they live up to their colouring expectations. I'm expecting good things from these. I really am. So do join me for part two when we will start colouring and we will colour in this picture of, from the Sarah K Colouring Heaven special um, collection uh, with these lovely castle arts. I do like the case as well, just to say. It's, it's, it's nice to get them in a case so that you don't have to buy one. I know if you get the 120 set of the ordinary, you get them in a tin. The 72 set of pencils does come in a case, but I want the 120, but so... But yes, I'm very impressed with the whole overall presentation. It's got castle arts on it, decent zip, nice canvas little bag. Very impressed so far. So I hope you've enjoyed part one. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you for part two of this first impressions when we actually do some colouring with the pencils, uh, try and do a bit of shading and blending with them and see what happens. See you soon. Bye guys.